How's everybody doing? So I'm excited today. I'm outside and I'm getting ready to do some yard work, y'all. I told you all that I was gonna show you all when I start to plant my plants and my flowers, get in my hands in that warm dirt. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm going to bring you all into the journey of how my flowers grow throughout the season. Um, what I like to do when I purchase flowers, I like to have flowers that's going to last me from now, you know, mid spring to the end of the summer. And last year, my flowers really showed out for me. I was so happy with the quality of the flowers that I chose. So, uh, we're going to plant some flowers today. It is stinking hot. Y'all are going to get to see me sweating. I'm, I hope I'm not out here sweating like a hog, y'all. But I tell you one thing, we're going to have some fun. So I hope y'all are having a great day today with God on your side. If you enjoy nature, if you enjoy the sounds of nature, getting your hands into that dirt, planting flowers, this is definitely going to be the video for you. So one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm sitting on my porch and I'm going to show you all the flowers that I've chosen. And I, I think this year I'm gonna do something a little different. I think I might put some uh, plants in the back. I, I didn't have plants in the back because there's so much beautiful landscaping that you kinda don't need it. But there is like two areas where I'm thinking maybe we'll do some flowers. So if that's the situation, then I might need to go back to the store and get some flowers for the back and that'll require I think the type of flowers that need a little bit of shade for the area that I'm thinking of so let me flip this camera over and show you all what we have what we're getting ready to put into the ground it's hot out grab a nice iced tea squeeze you some lemon in that baby kick your shoes off and enjoy the video so these right here I've never grown these these are what they call sun patients, okay? And sun patients are full to part sun. That's what these are, okay? Those ones right there, all right? And these ones right here are sun patients as well, full to part sun. And my husband really loves the foliage that they have. Now, these here are marigolds, of course, and honestly, I love the smell of a marigold. I love the bright color that we have, and these here are geraniums. That's what I grew last year. I had a big show out of them, and they did very, very well last year. So we got some more geraniums. Right here, this, I had this in my garage. This is two planters, and you can see I got some dirt in there that I need to break up a little bit. So we're gonna use those planters, and these are gonna go in the front, and we're gonna put geraniums in them, and they grow very well in there. So now, as far as these here, these are geraniums, and I totally love, love, love this color. Once we get in the sun, you'll really be able to see the color of these geraniums. They're kind of pink, but, I think that they're more of a peaches color and I love it. Oh, look how gorgeous they are. And what I love about um, the geraniums, they're really easy to deadhead. And I'll talk about what deadheading is and how you would deadhead a geranium. It's really easy. So now let me show you the work area that we're gonna be working with today, okay? So now I have some hostas here, okay? This is the area right here. There's another hosta. This is the whole area that I want to cover in, you know, in plants. And then we got this little section right here. And then there's another section in the back of the house, kinda in the back of the house where we're gonna put some more flowers. So sit back, relax. Enjoy the video. Let's have some fun. Okay, everybody. So we got a really nice hole here. And what I'd like to do is I like to do a pattern. You know, so that's how I'm going to be putting the geraniums in. So now, hold on. Let me get comfortable, y'all. My goodness. Look at, look at my shoes. <laughs> Y'all, look at me. My goodness, I'm, I'm out here in this dirt, y'all. 
Okay, so here's my hole. And what I like to do with this is loosen it up a little bit. There's all the beautiful roots that we want to keep intact. But you also, when you're planting your plants, you need to loosen them a little bit. I feel like a lot of people don't really know that. Just loosen them a little bit so that they can have, you know, it's easy for them to go into the ground. So just like so, we're going to put that baby in there. Okay, we're going to lift all of the flowers up or the leaves. And then I'm going to begin to put the soil back on just like so. Okay, and if the soil's hard, I want to break it up before I put it in there. You don't want big, huge clumps. All right, look at that. Let's get that in there. Making sure not to bury it too deep, but deep enough, you know? And then we'll come through after we get them all planted and we have the pattern that we're looking for. We'll come back and we'll water them really good. Now, when it comes to impatience, you do not have to water these. Don't water them too much. I'm calling these impatience, but geraniums, I'm sorry guys. Geraniums, you do not want to water these too often unless it's extremely hot outside, you know. Then you can think about maybe watering them, uh, let's just say, uh, what would I say? Maybe four times a week, <laughs> right? But don't overwater them. So look, I'm so happy and I'm going in and I'm patting the dirt back in place and then i'll put mulch back on top of that so we have this one here if you get a bunch of mulch and dirt on the leaf try your best to kind of dust it off like this i i know i know these gloves are going to have to come off i'm just not happy with i, I want to feel the warmth of the of the dirt I, I i feel like i need to feel the dirt in between my fingers versus having these gloves on that are totally driving me nuts so there we have, there we have, it's in there, y'all, and I can't wait to show you all what it's going to look like once that baby begins to grow. Beautiful. So let, now let's talk about the pattern that we're getting ready to do. So I'm going to want the peach, the pink, the red, peach, pink, red. So we're going to do just like that. When I see the leaves like this, I take them off. As soon as I see them, whether they're already in the ground growing or we're getting ready to plant them, when you see that, take them off. We got our second hole there. Let's get this red one in. And I've already taken the, what you call it, it's loose a little bit. Hold on, y'all. Let me set the camera back up. Let's get the red one in. Y'all, listen. Here's what I'm happy about. So it's like in the 80s today. It's in the 80s. And it's hot. You know, when it's in the 80s, it's hot, right? So here's the thing. I thought it was going to be too hot out here. But it's not because right now I am in the shade. It is so shady right now. And I couldn't be more excited, y'all. Yes. I thought I was going to be out here sweating like a warthog. But I ain't. And I'm happy. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying this here video. And hopefully this inspires you all to plant something plant something when you're feeling stressed or you know you just need to do something different go out and plant some plants some type of flowers that you can sit back and look at later and just watch them grow I feel like planting plants and flowers and things is a stress reliever and then you get to look at them later and just it's like a masterpiece and then you just watch God grow your flowers beautiful look at him y'all no worms were hurt or will be hurt in this video i i don't know about you all but i'm not afraid i'm not afraid of bugs never have been never have been y'all know i grew up with my dad and you know we do things like go fishing and stuff like that and i just was never the one to be afraid of you know certain types of bugs there's that peaches one i love that one bugs and you know little animals and stuff I'm, I'm not the one to be scared of them let's get this one in let's get this one nice and covered up make sure you pack in that dirt all the way around lift the leaves up i feel like the whole world is out here looking at me plant flowers y'all and maybe they don't know 
that I'm talking to a camera. Or maybe they think I'm talking to myself. Heck, I don't know. But I tell you what, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing to think that they're out here, you know, that they think I'm out here maybe talking to myself because they don't see the camera. I, right now I have the camera on a really tiny tripod, so they might not see the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I'm getting some strange looks right now. Looks like I'm talking to the flowers. But I have heard that if you talk to your plants and your flowers, <laughs> your plants will love you for that. <laughs> so maybe they think I'm talking to my flowers. So if we stand back so far and look at them, this is what we have. So we're picking up the flowers at the place. And the lady says, okay, thank you. She's like, so that'll be uh, $410, right? I think that's what she said. And I'm thinking, okay, right? And then she said, what's your name? And I give her my name and she says, oh no, that'll be $320. <laughs> and my husband said, how you, how? How how she forget a whole hundred? What what happened? What'd she do? What'd she do? And then what happened when you gave her your name? <laughs> you know, after I gave my name, she's like, okay, no, that'll be three something, right? I'm like, okay. I don't know what she was trying to do, but I tell you one thing, they sure do got some great flowers. <laughs> if you want great flowers, they got great flowers. <laughs> Just make sure you get your receipt and look it over. Look at that one, y'all. That one's real pretty, isn't it? And see right there, we have a landscape light and it shines so beautiful on the house and it puts a nice light into this um, flower bed and onto the house. See, look at that bud. That bud right there is gonna create so many flowers. You see that? Lovely. So let me show you how you were to deadhead one of these geraniums. So let's just say this is the bloom and the bloom is dead, right? You're just gonna go all the way to the base right there and you pull it off at the stem, okay? So this part, if it was dead, we pull this all the way down to the stem and it just comes easily off of the stem. So we got a nice hole here, we're gonna plant those. Somebody let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying this time. If you're enjoying this time, I am so happy because I'm really enjoying doing this, y'all. This is so relaxing to me. Oh, man, it's relaxing. And later on, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring you all an amazing video. You bet I am. I'm going to wash my hands, of course. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna wash my hands and bring y'all a great video. Take a look at what we got, y'all. And as far as the pattern, <laughs> the heck with the with the pattern, I forgot my own pattern. But it's working out. <laughs> this is what we have, and you can see that I have a lot of area that I still need to fill in. So we're gonna put some more in, and then we're gonna work on our yellow marigolds. Got that pillow. I had to sit on the pillow. That cement was killing me. Time to step in, step in, do a well checkup. Look at my face. Y'all, I'm sweating, but I'm having such a great time out here. Oh man, I am. Um, I got, I don't know how I did it. Y'all know I got those Crocs on. They got the holes in it. Somehow I took the shovel and I just shoveled a whole bunch of dirt into my Croc. Y'all, I'm about to get a good shower after this. So I put some more um, of the geraniums in to fill it out a little bit more. And I don't think that I'm going to use the uh, marigolds right now in this. Because I feel like the marigolds are not going to match. So how about we put the marigolds somewhere else where, you know, maybe they're by themselves because they're just not going to match with what we have going on. So I'm going to take a little quick breather, maybe wipe my face down a little bit, get something to drink, and I'll be back. I think what'll look nice back here are these sun patients. Y'all, I've never in my life heard of a sun patient. I've heard of inpatients, and all inpatients belong in the shade. So these is um, sun, part, you know, part sun, 
and uh, we're gonna put them in the back here and see how they go look how gorgeous they are and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push that tag right there that says sun patience I'm gonna push it in the ground so I know if they work for me I'll use them next year and that tag will stay stuck in the ground and I'll know what I want to purchase y'all <laughs> I had to come in take a break <laughs> it's hot oh my goodness I'm sweating but I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, so on this side of our house, we have a beautiful area that I feel like needs some color. And last year I put color onto that area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant those flowers, right? And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you what it looks like and then we'll get started on our marigolds. I need to get me some ice water. Okay, y'all, I'm inside taking a breather. It's nice and cool inside. We got the air running. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the marigolds, but on an updated video, I'll update you on where we're going to put them. I'm just not sure. So what we can do right now, let's go out and water our flower beds really good. And I'm going to show you where I decided to put everything and the side of the house where I, um, I put some more flowers. Okay, so if we look at this flower bed here, here's what it's looking like and it will fill out it's going to fill out so much those flowers is going to fill out so much to where you're barely going to be able to see the ground right that's how big they get look at this i'm so excited okay so that's the first area that we worked on here's the second area that you all haven't seen yet and this is like you know like the side of the house Look at that, guys. Look at this. And I can't wait. I What I can't wait for is when they really begin to fill out. So I think what I'm going to do is show you the um, the area where I think I'm going to put the marigolds when I come back. I'm going to water them. And when you water these, i got to get another... Um, watering can because honestly when you water these you're really just supposed to do the base you know and not the actual flower itself okay so just think about that when you have your plants watering the base but I, it's hard for me to do it because of this can that I have that just needs to be replaced with a different type can okay y'all be back so take a look at my water here. Gina, it looked like soap suds is in there. It is. An uh, old lady, long time ago, when I got my first apartment, I was uh, planting flowers and she said, put a drop of Dawn dishwashing liquid in your water. When you water your plants, you'll have the best plants ever. And I can honestly say, when I plant something, I have the best plants. I don't know what the Dawn dishwashing liquid does to my flowers, but it makes them beautiful. So here's our marigolds and a couple of these um, sun impatience. I'm thinking pops, possibly we can put them here, but we'll see. I got mud on my face. <laughs> y'all, I don't know if I'm doing a video tonight, but I'll definitely see y'all tomorrow. And also Saturday, Jeannie Young's going live. God bless. Good night. Hope y'all enjoyed the video.